Hello! Today I'm going to share with you the things that I've been into lately, or what I've been interested in. I have named this in the past Hot Topics, and I've also named it What I'm Into, and that's what we're going to, and you guys seem to like it and be interested in what I'm reading, watching, doing, experiencing. So, if you're interested in any of that, uh, also what I'm eating, did I say that? If you're interested in any of that, then stay tuned for today's video. Hi, my name is Mandy, and this is what I'm into for, or what I've been into for the month of April and uh, April, August and September. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so forgive me if I forgot any of my favorite topics because I can't find my notes from the past and I'm not going to go rewatch my own video because I don't feel like it. So, how are you all doing? Let's let's talk what, what, we're, what we're into. All right, let's start with I have notes in front of me to remind me because I forget what I did yesterday if I don't have some way of remembering it. What did I do yesterday? No, it's not important. Anyway. Okay, so let me get here. Okay, so first I want to talk about media I've been consuming. Um, I have some things I have been consuming, some things I haven't been consuming, and some things to share with you. So first of all, I have not been consuming a lot of uh, Netflix streaming shows, I should say. I haven't been consuming very many streaming shows or movies or, yeah, or movies. Um, I have been watching a lot of YouTube. Um, on YouTube, I've been watching panning videos. I have been watching budgeting cash stuffing videos. I've been watching cosplay videos. I've been watching cooking videos. I've been watching uh, Reiki and ASMR. I watch a lot of things. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Um, and I don't always comment, but I do try to occasionally. Um, so if you're if I watched your videos, then Consider yourself lucky, I guess. I don't know what to say. But I did, I have been slowly over the course of several months because I don't have Netflix anymore, but I watch it occasionally when I remember when I'm pet sitting or staying with family. Um, I finished a 10 episode series on Netflix called The Imperfects. I really enjoyed it. It's set in Seattle and I always enjoy watching shows that are set in Seattle because I get to see, is this really set in Seattle? Did they film here or did they make it up? Did they do it in Vancouver? Which most of the time is what they do. And um, do they get the names of places right? And this one was pretty good as far as that is concerned. Um, it had the right vibes and it had some a lot of the right place names. Um, but it, it, it was a science fiction kind of thing, and yeah, it's only 10 episodes, so if you're interested in sci-fi, it's about a group of people who get, med have a medical condition that gives them mutations, and that's all I'm going to talk about, because I don't want to spoil any of it, but you know, if you're interested in sci-fi and you want a quick series, then that's the way to go. Um, otherwise, I've been listening to a lot of music. Um, part of my daily routine in the morning is I'll put on um, Spotify and play whatever the daily mix is that it has suggested to me based on my favorite songs. And one artist band that has been popping up a lot lately that I'm really enjoying and I want to share with people is called The Narcissist Cookbook. And I like this band. I think it's a band, not just a single person. But um, I really should look into it more. But I enjoy their music because it is humorous and satirical, but also insightful and thought-provoking. And it deals a lot with themes of mental health and self-awareness and things like that. So it's it's that combination of like, Hmm, an interesting spin on things, but um, how to put it? It's like thought provoking, but also humorous. I've said that already, but that's the best way I can do it. So if you're into music that is like that, um, then I recommend checking out the Narcissist Cookbook. Um, 
I would tell you some of the songs they have. Um, one is um, My Ass is a Dump Truck and My Thighs are Dump Trucks too. Uh, and the, that's the only one I can think of the title of. I know a lot of their other songs and I really enjoy them. I just don't know the names of them. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in humorous, thought-provoking music about mental health, mainly is a lot what a lot of the songs I've been listening to are about, but they have, you know, my thighs are, you know, my ass is a dumb truck is not about mental health, but it is a little bit. So yeah, social commentary, you could say. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about music, because um, I have lots of other bands, but those are the ones that have stood out to me, and they're a current band that's, you know, going now. Okay, enough about media or streaming media. Um, let's talk about books. Let's talk about books, baby. And let's talk about you and me. What did you read this month? All right. Um, sorry. I like music. Okay. So about books. I like to read, um, nonfiction books and fiction. I, I read both. I have my routine where in the morning I'm having my cup of coffee. I do some journaling and then I read some nonfiction and then I go to the bathroom and I read some fiction. And then sometimes in the evening I'll read fiction. So I have a combination of both. Um, what I've been reading recently, I just finished this book here from the library. It is called Transforming Your Life Through Self-Care, A Guide to Tapping into Your Deep Beauty and Inner Worth by Carolyn Brent. Um, I thought this was a very good book um, and insightful and thoughtful. A lot of it I already knew because I do read a lot of this kind of stuff and I am well informed in self-care, but I wanted to get more information. And I do have another self-care book on my TBR to be read list, but this is the one I just finished and I enjoyed it. And if you're interested in learning more about self-care and the importance of self-care, I recommend this book. I also just started a new book that's an ebook on Libby and it is called The Awesome Human Project. The title got me alone. It is also a book about self-care, but about emotional fitness. I've just started it, so I don't know a whole lot about it, but it is about recovering, you know, trying to prevent burnout and finding yourself and all these things. Um, I'm really on a hunt to better express my authentic self and how to share that information with others. And I haven't really found anything yet that really hits the nail on the head, so to speak. Uh, for what I'm looking for, but these books are great. I definitely recommend looking at books if you are interested in any of this self-care type stuff. Um, and as far as fiction, well, I had one other non-fiction book that I finished, um, and it is more of a spiritual thing. It is something I had in my collection for a while and I just have never read, and I keep, I was looking around because I'm like, I don't have it here. It's actually at the house I was sitting at because I just finished it um, after finishing the library book, and it's called The Runes, and I don't remember who it's written by, but it came with, it was, it was sort of a set, it was a book that came with a set of runes, and, um, I suddenly have an interest in runes, which I'll talk more about later, but I read it, it was, it was kind of a light read, and I don't know enough about the subject to know how accurate it was, but it seemed like it had a a few interesting perspectives. And then for fiction. So all that, I've read three, I've read two nonfiction and I'm reading a third one. I go through nonfiction a lot faster than fiction, but the fiction I'm reading is a sequel to one I read at the beginning of the month, which I think I talked about in one of my earlier, um, what I'm into's. Um, that was by Anne Rice, The Witching Hour. This is the sequel to that called Lasher. The book, um, The Witching Hour, was over a thousand pages, and it took me quite a while to read. Um, Lasher is not as long. I think it's 600 pages, which is still quite a long book, um, and I only read it in the bathroom or sometimes when I'm out and about and I have nothing else better to do, like if I'm on the bus or, you know, if I just want to read in the evening. 
but um, so it, it takes a lot longer for me to get through fiction books, but I am about halfway through it so far and I am enjoying it. Um, it is all about the family, the Mayfair witches, and their connection with some spirit named Lasher, and um, exploring their history and discovering what this entity is all about. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I definitely recommend starting with The Witching Hour. Um, if you can do it on audiobook, great. It's a quite a long book. Um, or if you prefer paper or, you know, digital. Um, like I said, it was a thousand page pages in paperback. Um, but I found it quite a good read. It is very lengthy and very detailed, and it is by Anne Rice. So if you like Anne Rice and you want something besides vampires, I recommend the, the, um, the Mayfair Witches trilogy. There's a third book as well, um, which I'm going to read eventually, just not right after this one. So those are the books I've been reading. That's a lot. That's a lot. I know. I know. Okay. You ready for, you ready to talk food, food? And I haven't, I don't actually have anything drink related, but I do have a couple things I want to talk about food. One, I'm really craving blackberries. Anybody else craving blackberries? I've had, I started just wanting berries and I picked up like a, a bowl of berries from the supermarket at the grocery store and it had strawberries and raspberries and blackberries and blueberries and I was like, oh, this is so good, but I was really loving the blackberries, the blueberries too. Um, strawberries, not so much, they're okay. Um, and then I got some blackberries and ate them all and then I saw a recipe for blackberry apple crumble. So... And I think it's because blackberries are currently, or just recently, in season. So they are definitely something that is seasonal. And I am interested in craving them. I did get all the uh, ingredients to make the blackberry and apple crumble. So I will tell you next month how it goes and how it went and if I'll be making it again. Um, the next is, uh, in my previous What I'm Into's, I've talked about Calbi and um i can't remember the other brand honey butter chips that are from um i think they're korean they're asian anyway i get them at the asian grocery store i've also got the found a, a place that makes them fresh and i f find they are the my favorite potato chips well i was in the grocery store recently and discovered that lays they have their annual different flavors this year i think they're doing a theme on korean food and they had honey butter chips. So I was like, okay, I'm going to give them a shot. I really enjoyed when they did the um, ruffle, when ruffles had the all dressed, which I really wish they'd bring back. Please ruffles bring back all dressed potato chips. But so I tried the Lay's honey butter chips and they are very disappointing in my opinion. If you have tried any of the other brands, I know Calbee is one. I can't remember the name of the other one. It starts with an H. Um, or if it's traditional honey butter chips, they are very flavorful and sweet and buttery. The Lay's chips were like potato chips with a hint of sweetness. That's all I really remember. I ate the whole bag and I, I wasn't impressed with the flavor. They were good. They were potato chips. They were slightly sweet, but they weren't anything to recommend. So if you're interested, you can give them a try and tell me what you think. I wasn't impressed. Um, and then finally is a product that I have purchased, but I have not had a chance to try and I'm going to be trying in the next weeks. So I will come back and tell you about it next month. But mm, I heard about this product through Influencer, and it is from Heinz and it is a pickle flavored ketchup or a ketchup with pickle flavoring in it. And I thought that sounds really good. I'm not a big fan of ketchup because I don't like tomatoes very much. Um, but I like putting ketchup on hot dogs and sometimes on hamburgers. And I always like to put relish with them. And I thought if I could get a ketchup that tastes, has the taste of the pickle, the dill pickle relish. Because I like dill relish versus sweet relish. If I could get one product that has both flavors, it would save me time. So I'm going to be going out and picking up some hot dogs because they also just, they sound good. Um, 
and trying out this pickle flavored ketchup. So stay tuned to next month to see what I think of it. All right. And now for general life updates. I've been talking for a few minutes. So hopefully you're not bored yet and hopefully you're still interested. So back in March of this year, I decided I want to be an artist because I've always liked art. I'm good at it. And why not, you know, pursue that passion? And it wasn't until August that I realized that I was struggling to make art. I had to push myself. I I wasn't enjoying it. Um, I, I, I like making art occasionally just for the fun of it, but having to do it regularly and produce and practice, it just wasn't my thing. I like had to make myself practice just sketching every day. So I realized I'm not an artist. I started an art YouTube channel. Yeah, it's gone. I started an art Instagram it's gone. I started an art Facebook face, uh, page. It's gone. Well, it's actually still there. I haven't shut it down yet, but you know, Facebook pages are hard to shut down anyway. So I decided I'm not an artist. Um, because all that time I was struggling to do that. What I was able to do, even when I couldn't make myself do art is I would, could come and I could record videos for you. So I am a content creator. And that's what I'm going to be. I mean, I'm also a pet sitter, but my hobby is content creation and talking to you all. And I want to, in the future, share more about tips on self-care, on bargain beauty, and on becoming your authentic self. So if any of that it sounds interesting, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. If you like project panning, which I'm going to continue doing, then stay tuned as well. Um, I also had been, I have been for years streaming on Twitch. Um, I was doing gaming on Twitch for quite a while. And then I started doing art on Twitch because I wanted to be an artist. Um, but when I realized that I, I didn't want to do that, now I do makeup. And I discovered there is a category on Twitch for Twitch streamers called makeup and body art. And I stream generally on Wednesdays at 2 or 3 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're interested in checking out, you can head over to twitch.tv slash Mandy Dragon. I will have it. It should be linked down in the description. If not, you can um, leave me a comment and I will send you the uh, link if you're interested in hanging out with me and checking that out. I don't do it every Wednesday, but I try to do it most Wednesdays because Wednesday is what works for my schedule and the times may change. I may go later in the evening. We'll see. Um, next is a little thing, just a little thing I wanted to bring up. Um, recently Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards of the Coast came out with their new player's handbook and all that stuff. And there was some kerfuffle over at, um, D and D beyond and about being having access to the old stuff and the new stuff and i'm currently in a group of ladies who play dungeons and dragons online using um D, &D beyond and for our character sheets and character management as well as another tabletop play platform well with all the kerfuffle that was going on and the risk of losing our character information, um, our dungeon mistress decided that instead we are going to switch to Pathfinder, which is another role-playing game system very similar to Dungeons and Dragons. And it's actually what I started playing role-playing games back in like 2015, 2016. Um, and so I have the player's handbook and I actually have a, an advanced player's guide as well. Um, but I haven't played it in quite a few years. So I'm curious to see how my character from D&D is going to transfer over to Pathfinder. Are you an RPG player and have you played either Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder or both? And do you have a preference? Let me know your information down below. Or if you're curious and interested in learning let me know and we can we can maybe you know work something out 
Um, if I have a lot of people who are interested, I might become a dungeon master for a gr small group of people and we might do something on Discord. So let me know. Just throwing that out there. Let me, let me know. All right. Last thing I want to talk about is I kind of alluded to earlier when I was talking about the runes. Um, many, I'm sure most of you have seen by now my pendant. And you may or may not know that I am pagan, um, not Christian. And um, this is actually a stone that has a, a pentagram on it. So um, I don't, I'm not, I don't consider myself a witch, although you could say I am. I'm not Wiccan. I am not any particular thing. I am pagan. And um, I feel like every fall, maybe it's because Halloween is coming and it's the witchy season, um, I feel more drawn to return to my spirituality and practice and worship and all those things. I recently set up right over here um, my altar, which had been set there a long time ago and I got buried by stuff and I got moved. And then I got a new bed over the holidays and it got tucked away and so it hasn't been out. So I'm not very good at practicing my spirituality, but this time of year, I always feel drawn to return to it and get more in it. So in the coming months, you'll probably see more books in my book talking, which I plan to continue doing this, um, that are related to witchcraft and paganism and things like that. So if that's something you're interested in and want to talk more about, let me know down in the comments below. I am an open book. I am here and I'm sharing my authentic self and all the things that I'm interested in. And I hope you are interested in them too. And, you know, we can have a conversation about things that we're interested in together. And that's it. I'm going to, I'm going to stop taking up your time. So thank you for staying tuned and thank you for watching this far. If you did put a purple heart down in the comments, so I know you're a true one. Um, cause I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting a true crew, all my true followers, um, cause they're being true. And yeah. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. That means a lot to me and to the YouTube algorithm, apparently. And um, if you want to keep in touch and follow all the things coming forward in the future, then hit the subscribe button. That's the best way to see what I'm doing. And even better is if you click the little bell icon. That way YouTube will notify you when I upload a video. But until my next video, take care of yourselves. Stay true to you. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.